I love Jelly Bellies. For this stem bite, I want to think about categories in science. I love Jelly Bellies because they're delicious, but also because they come in these awesome little compartments that keep everything sorted. I know exactly what flavor I'm eating at any given time. The more you learn about science, you also learn that scientists love categorizing things like this. It's true in all the sciences, but you see it especially in biology. So we can think of all these different jelly beans like different species of animals. And the question is, how do we sort them into different species or different categories? At first glance at the Jelly Bellies, you think we'd sort them just by color. But you can see that isn't really true. Like I have a red one here and a red one there and kind of a reddish one there as well. So these are sorted not just by their color, but also by their flavor. Let's see if I can guess which one this is. Whoa, that's hot. That's cinnamon. It's sizzling cinnamon's right. I'm going to cool that off with some fresh watermelon. Now typically when biologists are sorting things into different species, they're looking at a variety of factors as well. A lot of it has to do with the shape, internal and external structures, but increasingly biologists also look at the genetic information to figure out what animals are closely related to one another. Traditionally the definition of a species has been two different kinds of animals that cannot mate with one another and produce a viable offspring. So maybe species is a bad analogy here because I can definitely mix two of these like say pomegranate and bubblegum, and the results are delicious. So maybe instead of species, we should think about this almost like breeds of dog. These are all jelly bellies. They're all the same species, but there are important differences between them. In the same way, all dogs are the exact same species, but they come in very different shapes, sizes, and demeanors. And just like jelly bellies have different recipes, like yellow plus yellow plus pink plus pink equals pink lemonade, you can combine different breeds of dogs and end up with a whole new breed that has a whole different flavor or character or size or shape or personality. It does kind of taste like pink lemonade. Just like there are some Jelly Bellies you might not want to mix, like buttered popcorn and green apple, there are some breeds of dogs that seem like they would make an odd mix as well, say a Chihuahua and a Great Dane. Nonetheless, they can be combined and the results may be surprisingly good. Oh.